Amen. Good morning and welcome to Grace United Methodist Church. We're so glad that you're here, whether you're here in person or worshiping with us online. If we haven't met yet, my name is Pastor Kate. We'd love it if you took a moment to sign in. Uh, you can do that if you're in the room. There's some QR codes around or up on the screen that'll take you to a place where you can sign in, find a bulletin, uh, or even access our giving links if you like. Uh, or if you're online, you can drop your check-in in the Facebook comments or look for that connect button on our website live stream. You'll also want that and to check the description on Facebook for our prayer walk time a little bit later. It is a slightly different day in our life. Uh, breathe out, no anxiety. I promise it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to do a prayer walk th as the second part of our service to help Pray for the future of not only our church community, but our neighborhood. It is part of our The Way, uh, Wayfinding series that we've been in, and today is our last Sunday. Next Sunday, we'll be doing some Thanksgiving stuff before we start Advent, a.k.a. getting ready for Christmas. Um, and I know you're all excited to start singing the Christmas carols, aren't you? I can see it, yes. Uh, there are a couple of things happening in the life of the congregation uh, coming up. On Wednesday, the Heights Interfaith Ministry is hosting their Thanksgiving ecumenical prayer service. There's a potluck beforehand if you want. There's a service at 7. It's going to be at the church at 1548, which is also conveniently its address, 1548 Heights Boulevard. If you like, go to the corner of our property and look right down there, you can see the entrance to there. Um, We'll have a time of worship. We'll have some time to eat together. If you bring donations of food or cash, all of that will benefit the Heights Interfaith Ministry Food Pantry uh, that's at Lutheran Mount Zion. Also coming up um, next week is an important week in the life of the church. About a month ago, the church council received the report of what we've called the Future with Hope Committee. This was a committee that was discerning the future of this place, uh, what steps might be next in our life together. At the end of service, beginning at the end of service today, you'll have the opportunity to pick up a ballot. We will be accepting these back after worship next week. If you need to, if you need to vote by proxy, you can sign it and mail it in. You can sign it, scan it, and email it in. Please do not hand me a physical ballot before next Sunday, or I promise you I will lose it, right? So you're welcome to take it with you today, but if you know you're coming back next Sunday, you can pick one up next Sunday. Um, we'll, we'll also be outside for about an hour after service for those who want to drive through and bring their ballots back. This will also be available in the Wednesday email this week. So if you don't want to stop by and pick up a physical one, you can get a digital one that way. The Wednesday email is a great way to keep up with what's happening in the life of Grace. And if you'd like to be on that email list, just send a message to grace at graceintheheights.org and we'll get you connected. But now as we turn our hearts to worship, mm, mm, the bags, I'm sorry, I forgot the Burris bags. Uh, we are still collecting uh, bags for Burris Elementary. There's uh, about 25 families who are in need of some extra help this Thanksgiving. Um, so you can find a list for that in the back along with extra bags if you want. We also find that sometimes the bags are a little... So boxes accepted. Now, as we turn our hearts towards worship, let us begin with our introit. <laughs> of you paying attention to your program, that was not come and find the quiet center, but it's all right. We're still going to stand for our call to worship. <laughs> Connection over perfection, friends. <laughs> Teach us your way, O Lord, that we may walk in your truth. We give thanks to you, O Lord, our God, with our whole heart. And now we will sing, Lead On, O King Eternal. <laughs> Thank you. 
may be seated as we enter into our morning prayer together. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in whom we live and move and have our being, you created us for yourself so that our hearts are restless until we rest in you. Grant us such piety of heart and strength of purpose that no selfish passion may hinder us from knowing your will and no weakness from doing it. In your light may we see life clearly and in your service find perfect freedom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ our Lord lives and moves with each of us and so we have the joy and privilege to lift all the concerns of our hearts in silent prayer. God, you are ever with us. Give us such confidence that we might daily pray as Christ taught us. When he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. It is time for children's time. Would you like to come forward now and join us? Good morning, everybody. Come on, you can come sit with us. Do you want to sit by Grace? You know Grace. Okay. Hi. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. So good morning, boys and girls. How, what do we do to pray? Do we go like this sometimes? Yeah. Hands in the air, hands in prayer. Do we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Do we say words? Yeah. Is that the only way that we can pray to God? No. We can do this. Oh, we can do that? Okay, well... Okay, so we can color. How else do you think we could pray? We could close our eyes. We could close our eyes. We could sleep. Too. Do you think that things that we do could be an act of prayer? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that sometimes things that we do might be an answer to somebody's prayer? Maybe. Hmm. What about these food bags behind us? Do you think that maybe yeah. somebody has been praying for food? Yeah. Hmm. What about our offering over there in our bucket? What does that go to? Money. It does? It's money. It's people money. Pray that, people that pray for money. Well, they might have oh, probably been praying for animals. So we're going to send them animals that help them get out of poverty and have a better life. What's poverty? Poverty is where you don't have a lot of money. So while we could give them money, what might help them better in the long run is giving them a way to make their own money. So like animals that might help them have milk or other things that they might need. So I was thinking about it when I was a teenager and when Miss Abby, she did this this summer, we went on a mission trip and we went and fixed houses. So somebody has told us several times they were praying that God would find a way to fix their house. And it was through teenagers that came and... And, and grown-ups! And grown-ups too. And they hammered and painted and, and built things and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so, and they even built a, and my mommy even built a ramp for people who couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people build wheelchair ramps. So there are all kinds of ways that we can be an answer to prayer and that we can pray. Today we are going to do something special where we are going to pray by walking around our campus and thinking about the future of the church 
And you guys are a part of the future of church. And one day, when you are bigger, you will get to maybe... I'm not doing... Maybe when you get bigger, you can help with younger kids no, no, no. and do all kinds of stuff. So this is... Oh, uh huh. This is this is a part of your future, and, and the kids that come after you's future. And next tomorrow is when I go back to yeah. school. So we can be up walking and praying for the future of the church, and everything like that. So today we're going to do something different, but that's okay because God is going to work through all of the our steps and our actions and the ways that we are working to bless others. So good job to all of you. I know you're going to do an awesome job in a little bit. So let's put our hands in the air. Hands in prayer. Dear Jesus, who loves us, help us, we pray, to be your good children and live the right way. way. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, boys and girls. Our scripture reading this morning comes from the prophet Isaiah. We're in the 43rd chapter. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight and honored. And I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons and daughters from far away, my sons and daughters from the ends of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings out chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise. They are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and the ostrich, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. I give to drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, so that they might declare my praise. The word of God for the people of God. This morning, friends, we are in Bar... Oh, yes. I'm not used to doing the first reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people
to have missed that. We are embarking on a journey, friends, for the Lord calls and we are saying, here I am. So in just a moment, actually right this moment, I'm going to invite you to stand up. We're going on a walk together. Uh, if, as you came in, there were some sheets available on this, sheet, on this table just at the door. If you didn't have a chance to grab one, you can grab one on your way out because we're headed out through the center glass doors. We're going to do about seven stops as we go around the property. Um, I promise you, you will be home in time for the Texans to kick off. All right? All right. You will find some of the words of this liturgy familiar as we go. I invite you 